Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another week of Let's Talk with Sci-Fi Guys. Stay tuned. I might be responding to your comments. Coming up next. Alrighty, guys. So last week I asked you this question here. Boop. Which is your favorite, Star Wars or Star Trek? That's right, Star Wars versus Star Trek. Alrighty, guys, so in response to my own question from myself from last week, I'm going to have to say that Star Wars versus Star Trek, I'm going to have to go Star Wars. You guys probably have already guessed this, but I love both of them. They're both great science fiction tales. Star Trek came first, chronologically speaking, Star Wars came first, but when you're actually talking about production value, you know, they are films, guys, not real things. Star Trek was produced first. So... I love it. I know Star Wars borrowed some things from Star Trek, but when you talk about all the different you know, series of Star Trek versus the movies of Star Wars, there's a lot more Star Trek content out there. So I can understand people liking Star Trek more than Star Wars. But when it comes to me, I love the Force. I love Jedis. I love people that can move things with their mind, telekinesis. I love that they can influence others with mind, you know, the, the weak-willed. Jedis can levitate. Jedis can cause other things to levitate and throw things at other things. It's it's just, it's crazy. I mean, just seriously, like I said, telekinesis is just, just amazing. And if I could choose any one superpower, I'd probably choose telekinesis. I think one of the best parts of Star Trek and Star Wars is they're both breakthroughs in their own way. Star Star Trek, the first interracial kiss on television. Star Wars, they did all this crazy special effects before anybody even knew what special effects were. Like, wait, what is this? Spaceships flying across the screen and you've got explosions and what are these laser beams? Lightsabers? Whoa! I mean, people back then, they're like, oh my god, this is crazy. These days, we're like, oh, shh, those graphics, I've seen better in, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, but... Think about it, guys. This was back in the 77. This was actually back in, like, 75 when they were making it, you know. That was a long time ago. They didn't have everything that we have now. They had to build those computers by hand. Star Trek, the same thing. All those models, they had to build those by hand from, like, little auto car part box thingies and then painted them custom and built them all from styrofoam or, you know, whatever it is. It's crazy. They made all that from scratch. It was not CG. Star Wars was able to make, break that through. Star Trek was able to do awesome things by, you know, being, let's go on to the beyond and have this great mission and then we're going to have interracial kisses and we're going to break through with that barrier like nothing. But yeah, in the end, I'm going to have to say Star Wars is my favorite. Alrighty guys, so as far as an update about my channel, as you can see, I'm back. My wisdom teeth surgery happened, and it actually wasn't too bad. I was pretty much ready to record again after a few days, so it really wasn't too bad. I mean, I still feel quite sore in my teeth. It's, it's, it's like if I poke in there, ow, ow, ow. Or if I, you know, if I'm eating, you know, that's it's kind of bad, because I have to, like, chew right up here in the front of my mouth, and that's it. And then if I get back in here, and I'm just like, ah, get the food in my mouth! But yeah, as far as an update, there's not really anything changing. You guys have already seen my schedule. I'm sticking to that schedule. I got plenty more content coming out for you in the future, so stay tuned. Alrighty, guys, now time for your second favorite section of my Let's Talk series. Top five. Top five. Top five comments of the week. The fifth place comment this week is going out to boop, the, the Sims 3, otherwise known as TTS3. TTS3 says, Sky City needs a Skyrail line. I call dibs on making that train. Besides that, great video. Ah! Thank you so much, TTS3. I'm so glad that you like watching my Sky City, first of all. Also, the fact that you mentioned a Sky Rail Line. What a great idea. I love it. Join me next week. I would love to get that thing going, because that sounds amazing. The fourth place comment this week is going out to boop, Sandman's Gaming. And Sandman's Gaming says, Sweet man, I miss Xbox, so I can play with my wife. You know, I have to admit, it is a lot of fun being able to play with my awesome gamer girl, wife, Rissa Choi. I love playing Minecraft. I can imagine why you miss it. I hope you guys get another Xbox One system so you guys can play together. That would be pretty cool. I mean, just saying, playing multiplayer on the same console is just as awesome as playing online. But it's even better when you can play with your awesome gamer wifey. The third place comment this week is going out to boop, Pretty Animations. And Pretty Animations says, Oh man, dude, don't ever stop drawing. It's really amazing. Cool work, man. Love it. Thank you so much, Pretty Animations. I'm so glad you like what I do. I love drawing. I've been doing it for a long time, as I've said before. And if you ever have suggestions for me, please leave them down below, because I'm always looking for somebody awesome to draw. So thank you for your interest. Thank you for your comment. That's why you got featured this week. The second place comment this week is going out to boop, Blazin, and Blazin says, Are you familiar with Doctor Who? If yes, you could draw the 12th Doctor if possible, unless you've already done it. 
Well, thank you so much, boys, and I'm so glad you like my drawings enough to suggest an awesome character for me to draw in the future. And definitely, I love Peter Capaldi as Doctor Who. He's a great 12th Doctor. I am hoping that they continue the series beyond him. If not, I just want him to continue forever with him, at least as long as the actor can do it. I love Doctor Who, so definitely thank you so much for suggesting me to draw one of them, because I didn't even think about it before, but of course I'm going to draw him now. The first place comment this week, my favorite comment of the week, is going out to boop, Derpy Starhead. And Derpy Starhead says, Darth Vader progression is more like, starts good, goes emo, fade to evil, then at the end, presto changeo, deathbed repentance. You know, that is actually very accurate. <laughs> Thank you so much for that awesome comment, Derpy Starhead. That's why you got the number one. I definitely agree. He definitely goes very emo. I mean, the whole Chris Hayden Christensen, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. And then he fades evil and he's like slaughtering kids and stuff. And it's like, whoa! And at the very end, he's like, oh, you know, I'm just going to throw the emperor over the end. And now I'm good again! <laughs> so yeah, definitely a deathbed repentance. It's crazy. But you know, you have to keep in mind, the council did have a prophecy where they were talking about how he was going to bring balance to the force. And Qui-Gon was a big supporter of this. And he was right. Because he did bring balance to the force. But Qui-Gon didn't realize is that he was going to kill off a lot of the Jedi in doing so. Thank you so much for that comment, Derpy Starhead. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this section and you would like to see me respond to your comments in the future Let's Talk series, then definitely leave a comment down below or in this week's videos. And you never know, I might be choosing you next week. Alrighty, guys. Now time for the question of the day. The question of the day for this week's episode is going to be, who would win in a wizard's duel? Gandalf from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit series or Dumbledore from the Harry Potter series? Let me know down in the comment section below. Alrighty guys, now time for your favorite section of my Let's Talk series, Shout Out Sunday. Alrighty guys, so if you would like to receive a shout out in the future, definitely let me know down in the comment section below and you never know, I might choose you. But the shout out this week is going out to boop, Blazin, and Blazin has an awesome channel and he's been very supportive of my videos as well. He does a lot of Pokemon, a lot of Minecraft, a lot of Skyrim, and he even has some Witcher content. But my favorite content of his is definitely the Pokemon. He knows his stuff and he's hilarious to watch. I love watching Blazin, so definitely go check out Blazin's channel, leave him a comment and let let him know that I sent you his way. Thanks for doing that, guys. You rock. Alrighty, guys, so that's it for another week of Let's Talk with Sci-Fi Guy. I hope you enjoyed, as I always enjoy responding to your comments. And I love seeing your fan art, so if you have fan art, send it to me on my social media, and I'll share it in future episodes of my Let's Talk series. Also, if you would like to receive a shout-out, definitely let me know down in the comment section below as to why you deserve the shout-out in the first place. And you never know, I might choose you for next week. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and share the episode. And and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Laters.